Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Now in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you how to care for agave in a cold climate. Now this video is only for people who are growing them in a cold climate because I haven't got any experience of growing these wonderful plants in a tropical climate because I actually live in Ireland and previous to living in Ireland I lived in England so I've never lived in the tropics and this is only me sharing my tips and experience of growing these plants in a cold and wet climate especially during the winter. Now there's a few different ways how you can grow these. I actually know some growers who live here in Ireland and also in England who grow these outdoors in their garden all through the winter and they keep them in pots and they, they don't worry about the things I'm going to be telling you to do but because I have no experience of that this is only my experience of growing them. They're very hardy agaves. There's many different types and what I'll do is I've made a blog especially going into detail about how to care and grow for agave in a cold climate and in there I mention what type of agaves I recommend would be good and suitable to grow all, all your outdoors in your garden and I'll put the links up above to um, the, the, the link there to my blog so check out my website and go in there and read it and I've got a list of all different types of agaves I recommend for growing in a cold climate but these I'm just sharing the three I grow outdoors here now, although I grow these outdoors, I do actually bring my agaves inside for the winter. And the only reason why I do that is because I haven't got anywhere, I'll just show you, anywhere in my garden that's sheltered to actually grow these. If I had some shelter outdoors, I would actually keep them outdoors because they, they are cold hardy. They're also frost hardy to a point, as long as you can keep them as dry as possible and protected from excess rains, which because my garden is very open, I haven't got anywhere where I can actually protect them. And because we rent here, I'm, I can't actually plant them out in the rockery, which I would, would do um, if I was able to. So I keep mine in pots and I bring them in usually sort of the very end of November, the beginning of December. I bring all my other cacti and succulents in usually the, the very end of October um, because they're not as hardy, uh, cold hardy as my agaves are. But these are, these are pretty, pretty hardy and I bring them in as I say just to protect them from the excess rain because during the uh, spring when I put them out I find that these plants can take pretty much as much rain as possible all through the spring and summer. I mean they get plenty of rain here. doesn't do them any harm at all and as you can see they're happy and healthy. And then because I can't provide shelter, and that's the only reason, I do bring them into the house, into the conservatory. I'll sometimes pop them out on dry days if you get a, a few dry days during the winter as well. But um, I do keep them indoors. And that's what, what I do. I keep them potted up in a very, very well-drained potty mix. I use three parts Johnnings number two, one part horti horticultural sand and one part grit. And I put a link up above to a video I made on how you can make your own cactus and succulent compost. And this is the mix I use for potting up these. They like to be kept very well-drained, whether you're growing them indoors or outdoors. Now, when it comes to growing outdoors, as I say, these plants can actually stay outdoors all through the winter if and only if you can provide some shelter for them. As I say, I'm not able to, um, so I have to bring mine in. But if you've got somewhere where you've got like anywhere overhanging over the house or you've got a balcony, so it protects it from excess rain and um, You've also in a position where you can give it plenty of sunshine because they love as much sunshine as possible agaves, preferably south facing sunshine. Then um, a balcony would be fantastic for these or in the garden in a well drained um, position, uh, planted on a slope ideally. Again, plenty of uh, sand, soil and grit. So there's the, any rain, excess rain just falls straight off and it keeps them roots fresh and not rotting because obviously if they're sitting in soggy soil in cold temperatures especially with frost that they very likely to rot so if you can provide a well draining position plenty of sunshine and on a slope then that's an ideal place you can actually grow these outdoors all through the winter Obviously, I think the only winter we had a real, real problem with, with growers I know who grow these plants outdoors. 
They, 2009 and 2010 was a terrible winter here um, in Ireland and the UK and a lot of people lost a lot of plants that grew, grew agaves outside. It was just a freak weather. A lot of people lost a few plants. Um, so as long as you don't have them type of temperatures, you don't really have to worry. They can pretty much survive outdoors. And as I said, I've got a list on my website, on my blog, on about 10 different types of agaves that are known to be winter hardy, that you can grow outdoors as long as you're able to offer them protection and also in a well-drained um, soil and a sunny position too. And that's really all it is to it. Agaves, they'll flower once and then they die. Um, they have to grow very large before they'll actually form a terminal flower spike. So I don't think I'll have to worry about these for a long time. But I'll put a link up above to a video I did when I was visiting the Botanic Gardens here in Dublin a few weeks back now. And there was this beautiful plant in terminal flower spike. And that was amazing to see. And sad to see that the plant's going to die after. But um, they usually do form little pups around the base as you can see on here with age and as the mother plant dies back once it's flowered you usually can propagate the little babies again and also the seeds that come from the the flower you can also propagate and that's really is too they're really easy to grow so again this is only my recommendations growing them in a cold a cold climate is plenty of sunshine the most sunny spot you can have if you're growing them indoors whether it's during the summer or during the the winter time sunniest position you possibly can if you can put your agaves out during the summertime outside into the garden whether it's in a pot or planted out they love fresh air and again don't worry about the rain during the the summertime because i keep mine out in all weathers during the summer and they take loads of rain and i've never had a problem with them they seem to do really really well but of course once it comes to late fall it's a different thing again they need to be kept as dry as you possibly can so Again, if you have no shelter outdoors to protect them from the excess rain um, and the excess frosts and things like that, then please do bring your plants indoors into a windowsill. They don't necessarily have to have a sunny windowsill to overwinter during the winter, as long as you have a bright room. I sometimes put these into a bright room if I can't fit them into the conservatory and they do absolutely fine. But if you want to grow them out in the garden all through the year, only do that if you're able to offer them some type of shelter and a very well-drained sloping, uh, sloping bank where you can plant these up. And what a lot of people do who grow these outdoors for the winter, they actually have these, keep them in the pots. They put them into the ground, whether it's a rockery or somewhere else like that, and they actually put loads of stones all around them. So you only see the top of the plant, but the stones prevents, rather than put them all up into soil where it's going to rot, the stones help to prevent the, um, the pots from rot, sorry, the roots from rotting. But um, so this is me sharing my experience with these wonderful, wonderful plants. But they're, they're very cold hardy, so if you want plants to grow outdoors, I highly recommend agaves. As I say, although I bring mine in for the winter, on, on the days where it's dry and sunny, um, however cold it is, I will bring these back outside and uh, let them get some sunshine. Now when it comes to repotting agaves, it's best to repot them every couple of years and obviously you know when it's time to repot one of these plants when they're obviously really top heavy and the roots are coming through the bottom but if there's no signs of roots coming through the bottom still repot every couple of years into some fresh well-drained um, soil as mentioned previously and i've got the link up above obviously on how to make your own cactus and succulent compost and um, a good it freshens up the soil to do this even if the roots aren't coming through so i recommend doing that and um, obviously when it comes to fertilizing what I normally recommend with my cacti and succulents is a half strength tomato feed which helps to encourage flowering. Now obviously with agaves you don't want to encourage flowering because like I mentioned they um, once they flower they die and this is what happens to them naturally in their natural habitats. They flower, it's their terminal flower spike and then uh, they leave behind um, seed and little pups to reproduce um, for the future. But so obviously you don't want to encourage them to flower. So 
So in this case, the only thing I won't, obviously watering them with tomato feed won't make any difference. You're not, it's not going to flower before it's meant to anyway. But obviously you've got to want to focus more on actually the greening of the plant rather than flowers in this case. So I would tend to use probably um, like a bit of baby bio. I think you're familiar with that. Or any other cactus and succulent fertilizer. I find that works a treat with keeping these lovely green and healthy. And as with all of my cacti and succulents, I always prefer to use rainwater. If you're able to get hold of clean rainwater, then I would recommend using that for watering these. As I say, I keep mine out all during the spring and summer and they get plenty of rainwater. <laughs> so I never have to worry about that. And I don't water them at all, obviously, when I bring them into the house for the winter. And again, if you've got yours growing outdoors all through the uh, all through the year, then you, you want to work the opposite way again as during the summer with plenty of rainwater. You want to keep them as sheltered and as dry as you possibly can outdoors. And as long as you can do that, then these plants will, will be absolutely fine outdoors. Just if it's extreme, extreme cold weather, like we had at the winter here, 2009 and 2010 here in Ireland, we had extreme winter cold. It was minus temperatures pretty much for about the whole month. It was awful. And obviously I had mine indoors, so I didn't have to worry at the time, but I know many growers who had agaves out in their gardens in, in Ireland and the UK and they lost their plants because they had no other way of protecting them other than throwing and sheeting over them and doing everything they could and that's also another good tip by the way as long as it's not you know ever like 2009 or 2010 again with a winter like that then if you just have a bit of mild frosts and things like that Ireland is a very mild winter here and if you've got a sheltered spot from excess rain, nights they forecast frost, you can throw um, obviously sheeting over them and um, fleece to protect them as well which also helps and um, that's pretty much that with uh, the care with agaves now if you're worried about how sharp agaves are, especially if you've got them outside and you've got young pets, so young children or you've got pets, then obviously they, they can be very dangerous and I've, I've poked myself many times walking past them to be honest with you. And what you can do and what some people prefer to do and it's completely harmless to the plant is actually remove the actual spike at the end, you can cut them back. And I'll just show you one here that, um, and the reason why I took that off because it's just on where I walk across the garden and I was cutting into it. So I just got the, um, the secateurs and snipped it off. It doesn't hurt the plant and some people prefer to do this if they're growing them outdoors because um, they worry about birds and th their children or animals getting caught on them. So if you want to do that, it's, it's absolutely fine. It doesn't hurt the plant at all. But I, I'm sort of in a position where I'm able to leave most of them on and I think it looks wonderful. But uh, obviously when it comes to safety, if you want to remove the, sp the spines at the end then it doesn't do the plant any harm at all to do so. Agaves come down with pretty much the same type of pests and diseases as normal cacti and succulents do. The most common one obviously being root rot and as I say if you've got yours potted up in a very well drained potting mix and you can keep it if, if overwintering in the winter in a position away from excess rain and um, severe severe weather then you shouldn't have a problem with this um, but rot is one of the most likely things that agaves can come down with. Also, they do tend to be prone to having sort of spotting on the leaves and that. Um, this sometimes is just down purely to environmental and it's more aesthetic than anything. It doesn't hurt the plant. But they do tend to, this is a little bit there as well, mottling. But this seems to be pretty normal with agave, especially when they are being grown outdoors. And the other one, of course, is that mealybugs and spider mites and all the common pests like that. But other than that, they're pretty hardy plants and you very rarely have too many problems with them as long as the conditions are kept right. So check out my blog I've made, made on, the, on how to care for and grow agave in a cold climate and go into more detail on that. I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus power as always from Ireland and, to, and, and succulent power of course mustn't forget that <laughs> until the next video guys bye